Seriously? Sucks to be you. So I was chasing the threads in this part and I actually broke off a piece of my tap inside one of the holes and now it's stuck in there. I know a lot of you guys have been in this position, so today I'm gonna show you my favorite way to get this out and save this part. Let's go do it. This is our hole popper. Most EDM departments have one to create start holes for their Wire EDM applications. If you're not familiar with Wire EDM, we've got a bunch of those videos. The technology is incredible, so don't be afraid to go check those out after this. Not only is this machine good for making start holes for our wire, but it's great for burning out broken taps. You do not want to miss this. There's many different methods to getting out broken taps. You might be able to mill them out with a carbide end mill, you might be able to use an easy out, but since our tap is so small, the hole popper is by far the best way. So this right here is our electrode. This is a brass electrode, and this is what's gonna be used to burn out our tap. We're gonna charge it with electricity, and it's gonna go down, and it's gonna burn our tap out without hitting our minor diameter. Minor diameter of our tap is 89 thousandths. This electrode is 40 thousandths. The way this is gonna work is we're gonna take two burns, we're gonna try and cut our tap in half and have the walls collapse in so we can blow it out and save our part. All right, we're gonna get our indicator out and then we're gonna dial in our part square so that we can find our hole location. So now that we have our 17 four part clamp down, we can go ahead and find our X, Y, and Z offsets just like you would on a mill so we can find the exact location of our broken tap. So that beep lets us know that we found our edge. Now we can zero our X. So now we're at zero in X. Now we just have to repeat the same process for Y. Zero our Y. So now to find our Z, it's really the same way. We're just gonna come down with our electrode until it touches our part, and then it's gonna beep and let us know that we're there, and we can just zero our Z. All right, so our electrode came down, touched our part, and beeped. Now I'm just gonna hit Z zero. Now we're all set up, ready to go. All right, so now that we've picked up our part, we can move to our hole location and get ready to burn our tap and save our part. Right now, electricity is coming through our brass electrode and cutting the high-speed steel tap into pieces. Our hole popper just finished taking two burns. It essentially cut our tap in half. Now we're gonna use a little bit of compressed air and this dental pick. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna try and fish our tap out of there. Oh, okay, that was it. It came out. All right, let's run a screw down in there and see how it looks. All right guys, so we burned our broken tap out, we checked it with a screw, and now we're gonna go ahead and install our seal in our window, and then operation save our part will be complete. All right, so there you have it. Our part is saved. We burned our tap out, we installed our seal in our lid, and now we're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you wanna take your career to the next level, visit academy.titansofcnc.com for free online courses. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Some people might think it was Mission Impossible, but I guess you could call me Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs>